Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me, Bailey Blogs. At ngayon guys, pag-usapan natin kung ano nga bang OHS o sa madaling salita ang Occupational Health and Safety Policy. OHS refers to the legislation, policies, procedures, and activities that aim to protect and help safety and welfare of all people at workplace. An OHS policy is simple, a method of starting how you are as a student are expect, expected to be behaved when they are activities inside the classroom. Here are the list of the 13 occupational health and safety policy. Number one, do not work alone so that there is someone who can help to take care of you in case of emergency. Huwag daw magtatrabaho ng ikaw lang mag-isa. Kailangan may kasama ka. Mas okay sana kung yung kasama mo ay may alam or professional para magabay ang kanya sa paggawa at matapos nyo ng maayos ang gagawin nyo. Number two, always power off the computer and unplug the computer before working on it. Papatayin nyo lagi yung computer at bago patayin sa saksak. Number 3, take away any liquid near your working area to avoid getting electrocuted or accidentally damaged computer parts. So, mag ano daw, ang mga liquid, uh, liquid na mga bagay sa working area natin ay alisin natin upang hindi tayo maka, hindi tayo makuryente or accidentally masira yung computer parts at hindi tayo maabala. Number 4, Beware with tools that may cause short circuit or sa madaling salita yung mga tools na kailangan natin ingatan para hindi mag cause ng short circuit. Number 5, always ground or discharge yourself before touching any parts of computer. So, kailangan mo nang patayin or ano, yung computer or yung ano, para bago awakan yung computer parts para hindi makuryente or hindi masira. Number 6. Do not use excessive parts if things do not quite slip into the place. Huwag daw basta-basta ang gagamit ng pwersa kung hindi daw dun, dun sakto yung parts na yun. Maaari kasing masira or magasgasan yung mga parts ng computer. Uh, number 7. Clean the area before and after using it to maintain sanitation and prevent accident. So, number 7, uh, very common to, pero kailangan itong sundin lagi-lagi kasi, syempre, para malinis. <laughs> syempre, sinong bang gustong mag-work sa maduming lugar? O, number 8 naman, hold the components on the edge and do not touch the integrated circuit parts o IC. Hold the computer components. Wag Awa ka yung computer component sa edge pero huwag nyo awa ka yung integrated circuit o yung mga circuit na pwedeng mag-cost na uh, ano yung tayo dun? Pwedeng may kuryente kasi or something na ganun. Uh, number 9, always wear personal protective equipments or PPE in accordance with the organization OHS procedures and practices. So, lagi daw magsuot ng personal e personal protective equipment para mas safe at mas ligtas pag nagagawa ng mga bagay-bagay sa computer uh, para mapangalagaan din yung parts uh, number 10 make sure that the pins are properly aligned when the connecting when connecting a cable connector number 11 contingency measures during workplace accidents fire and other emergency are recognized so mas okay kung yung pinagtatrabahuan mo is may mga emergency exit para kung may par na mangyari, madali ka makakaalis. At number 12, use brush, compress air, or blower in cleaning the computer system. So, pag, magagam, pag maglilinis tayo ng computer, lagi natin tatandaan na kailangan gentle lang yung paggamit at sa brush or kung pwede gumamit tayo ng blower para mas madaling maalis yung mga alikabok dun sa computer parts. 
Number 13. Read and follow instruction carefully. So, ayun. Common to, pero maraming pumapalpak kasi hindi nila binabasa talaga yung instruction ng maayos. So, kailangan laging yung tatandaan yan. At yun lang ang 13 list ng OHS. Sana may natutunan kayo sa aking vlog. At see you next vlog.